You're not for hire twice. Double outlaw. <laughs> Hello guys, welcome to Arizona. We are en route to Texas as I left the house this morning. At about 6.30 something, dropped Boone off at my dad's house. Then I went to Arthur's house and we picked up his Diamond Sea. We are headed, actually going to Diamond Sea in Texas. We are in Arizona now, we just crossed into the border. Uh, we milked the truck in, it is on red, on the fuel gauge, so we could get to Love's because they were 450 460 480 a gallon for diesel in california and yeah we filled up here for 320 so we saved more than a dollar a gallon by stretching it to make it here and my new tank is going to make for good investment right now because i'm going to fill it all the way up 75 gallon tank and then the 33 or whatever it is for the truck but i've clocked over 600 miles today personal time we got our not for hire sticker magnetized and taped on there that's how we do it but it's nice and freedom here we can run more than 55 miles to the mile an hour legally here freedom out of california and we feel even cooler when we get to texas we're gonna try and push through to new mexico tonight and then maybe crash for a couple hours and then head on through texas tomorrow morning but we're going to Wendy's right now. Get something to eat. But how many gallons we get? 38 gallons, 15. Oh no, this one's still got some more in it. Or it shut me off. Oh, it shut me off at 125 bucks. Come on! No, that's not us. Keeping the truck checking for leaks every stop. We've done a thousand miles today. We're parked next to possibly Cooper Webb's factory KTM racing rig. You guys can't even see it on here. But uh, yeah, we're gonna hunker down for a couple hours. It's like three in the morning, two in the morning our time. Yeah. Yeah. But just over a thousand miles. Arthur did 350, 400, I did 600. Um, we're gonna take a nap and press on probably right when the sun comes up. Next to a Denny's, I don't know, maybe we'll go over there and grab a hash brown and hit the road. Well, we got uh, 20 some odd miles to Albuquerque. Figure we might as well pull over and top off the tank. Stretch our legs. Gotta pull a little bit of def in there. Down to a quarter tank fuel, quarter tank of def. I don't know what they got going on, something over there, but. Oh, brother. Nice to get out and just stretch your legs every once in a while. You gotta do it or else well, you'll be in bad shape. But I wanna test this fuel tank out at some point. We filled it up when we first got into Arizona. Uh, price of fuel went down we got it cheaper a couple other places but under three bucks a gallon so far it's been nice well we're somewhere in texas and we realized the price of fuel is awesome here arthur put 200 on the tab and well we filled up the truck at 50 bucks yeah. and then we still got the transfer tank to fill up and we're only at 73 bucks so yeah and then we've had the pleasure of every one of these semis being straight piped dual stack straight pipe fun listening to them got old boy over here running an eight axle towing a 336 big old hoss oh that's nice down here all the roadsides are pretty much clean fuel stop how you doing at uh diamond all right guys i will admit it took us a little bit longer than i really expected but we are just shy of diamond sea we have 30 miles or 30 hours of travel time of the truck running right now. Uh, ETA or estimated time traveled GPS when we left my house was 27 hours. 
So we actually did pretty good. Well, we're actually about 31 hours total. So we're gonna stay at the Hampton Inn tonight. You get the room, Haas? Ah, they got no room. Ah, son of a gun. I guess we're gonna have to sleep in the truck okay, again and guys, die. Do you guys have rooms? Like, no. Uh, do you guys have rooms now? She's like, yes, over there. <laughs> What'd you do? You use your Russian accent on them? Yeah. You got the room now? Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> They're like, with a discount. Oh, shit. Ah, <laughs> uh, shit. <laughs> <sighs> Boom! Up in the hotel room. All right. Feels good to finally be in a spot where we could put our head down that's not sleeping in the truck. That is just miserable. But look, uh, you guys can't quite see the truck. Hang on, feel the light. The truck is within range for one, of sight, and then two, double check the alarm on it. Yeah, buddy. See you guys down the street in the morning. All right, boys, we made it to a car wash. Gave the truck a little rinse and gave the trailer a rinse. And my buddy. Rolling Pope here showed up. I got him a gift, so once he gets done, we're gonna let him tow the Diamond Sea so we can see how this rides, cause it's a little, little different. But there you go, brother. I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna bring it to him in person. Open it up, look at it. Hopefully, it fits. I've been sitting with it for a while. I got some more stuff in the truck, but this is my favorite box today. Yeah. I got you a free coat hanger. You see the tag on it? Plumbing's page on there, so you're. Yeah. <laughs> Go check it out. <laughs> it's a combo. We got me on the back, got you on the front. But you're excited okay. to. Yeah, it'll be a chew toy. <laughs> you got it. That'll go on there. He knows what he's doing. Oh, it's in my truck. No, dude. That's why the short, it bounces like, go get the pin. It's got a goofy pin for the latch. All right, for those of you guys who haven't been following my page for a while, I've shared this guy's videos before. He's got a 12 valve Cummins in this rig. Yeah, you better take that off. It's a little hot down here. Monday we had about an inch of snow. Hopefully we'll get you some more followers. You got videos coming. Yeah. <laughs> I'm fixing to do an exhaust video, building an exhaust for it. Yeah. It's gonna be sick. It's coming out right here. Sounded like it was still contained underneath the truck somewhere. Yeah, yeah boy. <laughs> what a burger. Come on, man. Arthur's been talking about going to that place for a burger this whole trip. Yeah. And he went there this morning. He was like, let's get a burger in the morning. I was like, uh, we gotta get breakfast, man. Couple turbos, custom inbox. Dude. She's dirty, but she puts it down. She's sweet. Nothing about it. She's sweet. That's how you fix a six liter right here. That's a 100% bulletproof 6 0. 12 out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're not for hire twice. Double outlaw. <laughs> That's, that's what Texas means in America. First thing we pulled in, like right past the like state line, like a like hundred foot tall flagpole with this huge American flag on it. And I just was like, this is good shit, yeah. Man, you should, uh, our governor, Greg Abbott, I follow him on Twitter, he's the funniest guy. Yeah. Right he's so cool. Dude, that's I, I could go to a bar and have a beer with him. <laughs> Mike Rowe, there's a rumor he might be going for our governor in 22. Oh, yeah. Did you see yeah, that? Let's go up there and vote for him. Dude, stay at the house. Use my address. Right? Three of my addresses. We'll get some. We'll get some uh, votes for him. Yeah. How'd it feel? It's fine until you hit a bump. Yeah. When you hit a bump, it jerks you really, really bad. Why do you think? The tongue weight or just? Uh, I think that there's not enough tongue weight. He was pretty impressed with how bumpy it was. Backing up his trailer like a man.
Go a little bit more. Give it, give it that nice even touch. There you go. Close enough. I'll get you closer to the mirror than they know here. <laughs> inch and an eighth. That's uh, biggest I got to the inch. So glad you got some stuff. We'd have to go over there and build a wrench. Oh yeah, you got the goods. You got the same straps I do. What you doing? Copying right, this me? This is what I did my entire swap with. Yeah. Oh, it should be the size right there. All right, guys. So swapping out the old Diamond C, which has got a 30K rated for a 40K. I got my not for hire sticker on there, signed crooked. But we didn't even realize, or it didn't come through the build sheet. They gave us a three inch coupler. And uh, I only got two and five sixteenths, and so does Arthur when he goes back. But Jacob, VP, he came over and he got this, but that's for the wrong style for the three inch ball. Look at that. That's, we were, well, I wasn't, but you're just admiring. Look at the size of that, the sheer. How you doing? Yeah, that's like a sheer. <laughs> so we get this swapped out with um, the two and five sixteenths, but I don't know. Arthur's gonna have to pay you something. You're putting in too much work. <laughs> yeah, wouldn't happen to have an impact. Yeah. So they went and they built the whole hitch for us right now. They just like dropped what they're doing and huh? Put your hand on it. I could feel the heat from it. Like it's still warm from the welding. Yeah, you can see it. Yeah. Throw a hot dog on this thing. So she's ready to go. We're gonna swap this out. Damn. I'll get it, son. Guys and girls, we got the new hitch on there. Completely awesome of them that they went ahead and made this hitch for us so we could put on a 2 and 5 sixteenths. Later on, this trailer, uh, Arthur will more than likely upgrade to a uh, bigger rig. It's a 40K rated trailer, and so we can get a kingpin hitch, and I believe it'd have to go on the other one. So uh, we kept that one, and we're on the road. Again, thanks, Diamond C. These guys, killer service. You cannot, honestly, I heard about this kind of service they deliver, but I did not know for sure, but now I do. I got a video tour of their whole facility. What that family has built here is truly awesome. Proud of everything they got. I really like this, really like the trailers. But we're gonna hit the road, so we gotta make it to Amarillo by midnight to avoid weather throughout the rest of the trip. 500 miles. And I'm starting to get a headache because I haven't had my sunglasses on. It's bright out here and it's humid. You want water? Uh, yeah, probably grab one, but on the road. Brand new 2020 Diamond C 40K hydraulic dovetail, hydraulic drum brakes, yeah, with the big boy coupler on the front. Slick. I'm gonna state it while the subject is still fresh, but we just traveled 1900 plus miles from the house to come down here and to upgrade my man Arthur's trailer. Basically, uh, upgraded axles and a little bit longer trailer, different spread. But I will say this, because his old trailer is a 30-footer, pretty similar to mine. And the 35-footer, what we just picked up, same suspension. The 35-footer with the more tongue weight, this thing rides so much better. We don't have the option for the Gen Y to go on this coupler yeah. yet, <laughs> but it, it rides better, guaranteed. So we're going to push on to 500 miles and hopefully beat all the weather going back. Um, to the wonderful state of California. It's gonna be a bummer, honestly, to leave this place. I'll do this is nice down here. A lot of pipe fencing, though. Well, boys, been rocking and rolling. I think we pulled right at 500 miles since we left Diamond Sea earlier. But got my OH brother right there, old 5500. He's got some weird setup, though. He's got an arm on it. Would you shut up, train? I'm trying to talk. Old son's getting his jollies off, freaking honking that horn. So, I got this uh, truck defender bumper on my 3500. I don't know if you guys can tell how bright those little running lights are in the bumper, but those are the same headlights for the running lights, like the bulbs that are like in the main headlights on my uh, 04 truck and I had no idea how bright they were until I just looked at them out here but this thing cruising down the road those little son of a guns they are bright but 
screws back here. This trailer behind this truck, honestly, unless you hit a bump or something, you kind of forget it's back here. This 3500 feels nice. Hope the wind's not killer too much. But we'll check. This hub was only the hottest one. We've been cruising at 75. Completely cool now. Hub oil looks good. It looks like just water in it. And it's kind of cold here. It was hot and humid down there earlier, but oh man, these are nice and cool. 16K axles, the heavy duty suspension. This thing's rated a 40,000 pound trailer. Buddy Roland hooked me up with some barrels. They're empty, there's nothing in them. But then he also got me some more Ready Seal, uh, 10 gallons. He's the man. You guys got to check out Roland's stage. Give him some love. He's a man. But let me, where's the radio on this thing? What's this bad boy say here? It says that this thing weighs 8,500 pounds. Yeah, four, 40K. <laughs> Savage. Um, where's the, uh, there it is. Right there. Weight should never exceed 31,420 pounds worth of cargo on this thing. I don't, if with some tongue weight you could put a 300 on here. I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty cold out here. Cold. What the hell? Well, we made it through what we hope is a storm. Just passed through Albuquerque. It's where my grandpa grew up. Kind of neat seeing that place. Never been there before. I slept through it when Arthur was driving. But, uh,. I think we might have had a loose hubcap, so he's slapping some pliers on it, trying to give her a little torque. But it's hard to tell with everything landing on the windshield, everything freezing up. We're finally above freezing. It's like 32, 34 degrees right now. Look at my wind, I mean my mirror. It took us uh, 300 miles before my, these little guys, the snow unclogged out of those. I guess I didn't have but California wiper stuff in there. But it's nice to finally have a clear windshield. Look at that. We're hoping to make it to Cali today, like I said. So we got uh, a couple more feet to go. <sighs> it's nice to get away out here in this month. So look at this, Arthur. Freaking A. Did it tighten any? Uh, no. Right. Good. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, well tried There's nothing's gonna touch that my little uh, compressor is it look good Woo! all right fuel stop number a lot driving slow traffic going through the snow we stopped in here we just got into Arizona and we stopped here because they had a sign that said, keep Chief Great again. Well, I'm pretty sure we're on Indian Reservation right now, but Pro T-Man 2020, so we're gonna give them some of our money. It smells like complete oil dump here though, inside of a mechanic shop. So look at this, not used to this trailer. Obviously I'm watching it, but five feet longer than mine total 35 feet man this thing she tracks a little bit different shoot she riding good though riding real nice 3500 makes life pretty decent i've done 600 miles today uh we stopped twice this will be the second fuel stop got the tank full i left it full so when we uh were in the snow we had a little bit even more tongue weight so that worked out good uh, we'll probably burn through that when we hit California, which is in another 400 miles, 300, I think it's about 300. Boom. We're getting shitty mileage here, going back. Just under 10. Going out there with that little trailer, we got 13. But we were able to keep momentum a lot better. Yeah, buddy. We are like 50 miles away from the next stop, and uh, we got like 30 miles of fuel, but 
We ain't concerned. 75 extra gallons in the back. We pulled over real quick. This is money. Yeah, that's how we do that. All right, this is the first fuel stop that we were at on the trip. I remember we are at big old American flag over there, decent price. But look at this, there's a little car on, we're in the RV pumps right now because I don't like going through the super trucker aisles. But this lady, she's at her pumps. So I put the trailer in her way back there. <laughs> super grandma meets just a dude towing a trailer. All right guys, we are closing in on the way station going into California. But guess what, it's 10 o'clock at night. She closed, so we gone. Some super trucker would be like, you guys, uh, you probably should have stopped there even though you were closed, I know. Can't do nothing right. And I shouldn't be in this lane. Well, I was trying to pass him. I'm still in Arizona. I can do 75, so super truck on that. There we go. Super truck, super truck, super truck. Let's see how they play. How's the trailer look back there? Uh, looking good. All good? Thank you, sir. Have a good night. Yeah, man. <laughs> you guys already given like the, uh, what the fuck was that? <laughs> Son of a, took out a cone. He's already given like the, how you doing for me. I mean, you seem to dime and see that. Yeah. Guys, I don't know how much I filmed of what went down earlier, but we went through some nasty snowstorms and a bunch of BS, so just wanted to come over and like run at me. Get the hell out of here. But we made it to California and I, I wanted to drive and push us through all the snowstorms because, well, I own the truck, you may own the trailer, but I just ended up just kept driving. So I drove all the way through uh, New Mexico, all the way through Arizona, and then I did 100 miles into uh, California, and then some more actually. But we're gonna hunker down. We don't got much more to go tomorrow, but I wanted to show you my parking job. I actually had it in here a little bit tighter. I had the truck at a 90, but the chains aren't long enough for the stock spot. So I had to pull forward a little bit. But lock the box up. Lock this up and then pull the fuse on the pump too. So I'm gonna go inside, get some rest, and then we just got a little jump tomorrow and we're done. So basically, I ended up really close to 4,000 miles in four days of, uh, yeah. We left Monday morning at like nine or 10. Oh, brother. Look how dirty it is. 4,000 miles later, we're back at Arthur's place. Gonna ditch this old bird. Got that three inch ball. Look like I've been rubbing my bed a little bit there. Should be all right. Uh, Diamond C, if you're watching this, guys, those chains, you need to make those longer for guys that are running the Ram 3500s with the stock spots. I wanted to mention that. I'm going to text them and, you know, reclarify. There's a couple cool things I'm going to point out on this trailer real quick. Uh, I got a full video coming with. Uh, the diamond seat tour so if you guys are looking forward to that that will be here shortly but it's kind of unreal i'm looking forward to making the video of the tour and all that but this thing is just sweet so two thousand miles each way for this thing arthur will do a full tour video on this thing it's literally identical to mine except for 35 foot long um the frame is actually um, a little bit thicker in spots and more spread but what and then uh he's got the bigger axles what you want all right guys look it we got freedom for the first time in four thousand miles i don't have a trailer behind my truck and i will say this thing is a rocket again but i just stopped off at walmart picked up a few things got a couple movies because i am going to go home and relax for at least an hour after that long journey that was the longest i've ever driven in my life that's the furthest from home on wheels i'd ever been uh, oh man that was that was a journey it was fun it was really awesome mainly arthur texted or we talked about it a while back he was going to go down there and upgrade his trailer and i said shoot man let's just take my truck it doesn't get driven enough so knock out four thousand miles in a little about about four days a little bit more yeah that was an experience of its own but to go down there and meet jacob crab get a tour of diamond sea 
that video is going to be fun to watch and uh, meet up with Roland. I've been talking to him for a long time. He's been a long time subscriber and uh, friend. And it was really cool to meet up with him to, you know, put a put a face to the guy you always been talking to. And, and it, it was neat. It was a good trip. We're headed uh, up the hill now. I'm feeling good after that many miles. I'm surprised at how well I'm feeling. This 3500 is a really nice cruising rig. I mean, we're only towing 10,000 pounds. The truck did average uh, right under 12 miles to the gallon on a 4,000 mile run, you know, hitting around 18,000 gross. So not too shabby, not too shabby. The extra tank in the back that I wouldn't say we had to use it as an emergency, but it made it a lot better if we cruised through a town trying to find a good stop and realized we ran through the whole town before we found a good price or whatever the case may be. Uh, we just ran up the road until we got close to red, pulled over, stretched our legs, filled up the tank, and that was nice. It was a big weight lifted off our shoulders, so highly recommend having that extra tank on there. Get you the longer range and a better comfort. But So give, uh, give Roland a subscription or a view or whatever on his uh, YouTube pages. It's called the Fummins page, and then same thing with Arthur, Full Life Adventure. Good people right there. That's what life's all about, meeting good people and meeting Jake Crab down there in Diamond Sea. That was good. But we are, I'm headed up the hill back home. I'm going to make one more stop, maybe get food too. But there's a place that sells flatbeds for Grandma's truck. And I, I emailed them a couple of days ago talking about what I wanted to do in the channel and stuff. So I'm going to see if we can make something awesome happen with them. I really hope so because I've been looking at these beds for a while and I thought they discontinued them. But, uh, We'll see if we can strike something up with that. But thank you guys so much for sticking through this whole video. If you made it this far, give her old hell yeah, brother. Oh, I'm I'm feeling good, but I'm definitely drained. But like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Comment what the longest you guys have ever done in one stretch at one time. Uh, the most I've ever done personally was uh, just over 1,100 miles. I mean, we did stops, but we didn't take a nap. It was all me, 1,100. So my thousand this trip wasn't quite as much, but. That's still a lot of driving, but, 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 we're getting tired, obviously, I'm saying but too many times. Later on, guys, see ya!